In this video, we'll take a look at setting up your audio interface with Logic Pro X. On a high level, an audio interface connects to a computer, allowing it to leverage powerful software tools for producing music. The audio interface usually has one or more inputs and outputs, allowing you to create high quality sounding music. This is an example of a common setup here. This is what the audio interface looks like in the back and how it connects to the computer via USB. Audio interfaces come in several different sizes and shapes. Here are a couple of examples of two different sizes of audio interfaces. You may also consider using headphones if you need to be quiet while using Logic Pro X or utilizing a pedal board. To set up your audio interface, start by plugging it into your computer, as shown here, via USB. The two input jacks on the front left can be used for either instruments or microphones. Here I have a guitar plugged into the left jack and a microphone plugged into the right. In the back I am using two outputs to go to speaker monitors. There are also MIDI ins and outs and the USB connector to the computer. Most audio interfaces have gain knobs as shown here. These are key to controlling how your instrument or microphone will sound. Make sure you're in the proper range and not maxing out the gain. In order to get Logic Pro X to recognize your audio interface, you'll have to go to your audio preferences by clicking on the Logic Pro drop-down and choosing Preferences Audio. Here you can select both your input and output devices. You can see here I have both the Scarlett chosen for both input and output devices because I'm outputting to monitor speakers, but you could change them. A helpful tip is to go to your recording preferences and click on recording project settings and select the auto demix by channel if multi-track recording. This way you can record multiple instruments at the same time. The final point to consider is to make sure that your lines between Logic Pro X and your audio interface are configured correctly. Remember how we configured the guitar and microphone as shown in the picture in picture here? To configure them, you go into the Inspector tab over to the left here in Logic Pro X and click on the Input button. And here you can choose between the two, two different inputs. This is the guitar in Input 1, and here's the vocal in Input 2, which you can change. As far as which audio interface to buy depends on your budget and your needs. If you're just starting out, you may consider getting a smaller interface. If you're in a band and you have some cash to burn, you may consider a larger interface. Typically, as in other things, the more you spend, the better quality interface you can get. This will come into play as you advance and struggle with things like latency. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below.